Hello everybody and welcome back to Ray's Diecast Racing where today we are going to review the Hot Wheels Flying Custom Thrill Drivers Corkscrew. Now the track includes two four speed boosters. One, two, three, four, and you hit this little button to make them go all the way down the track into not just one loop but two loops all the way through to the fair finish line and how the finish line works is they are two little flaps right here where if a car passes through the flag will fall onto that side now um some good and some bad things about out um the track is that um this like some cars need all four some cars are going to need one it honestly it just depends on the car um Another thing is some um, small cars that are also lightweight, like the Mini, they will fly off of the track because it goes from, you may be able to see it here, there's a little bit of a gap. So small cars are going to fly out. Now, they, I've seen cars go, hit the ramp, hit down. It just can't be a decision that you make to get this track if you want to race something like a Mini or very lightweight car or cars that have a low splitter like the Lambo where what's going to happen is the Lambo is going to get caught. Like, I'm trying to push the Lambo up, but because of its low spoiler, it's not going to go up the track. Also, long cars such as Hyper Truck, they're not all the wheels are going to spin. It's going to drag as well. So just something to know. Um, apart from that, um, let's get into some details that are missing, such as the thrill driver's corkscrew scr sign. <laughs> scrine? What? What's a scrine? Sign. Um, you can have it on top. I don't just because I don't want to. So at the end of the day, if you want to sign up, you do you. Um, the two cars that came with the box were clear speeder and T-Rex Destroyer. Uh, we will give that a race, um, but I want to have a big race. It's going to be Mario, Peach, Donkey Kong, Yoshi, and Luigi. Going to go up against the Tesla Model 3. The Corvette Stingray, the Ford Escort Rally, the Aston Martin 177, and the 2015 Jag F-Type Project 15. Now, let's get a quick little race going on between these two cars. Who's going to win in three? Two, one. 
It is T-Rex Destroyer. Now, I will let you know, um, sometimes the cars, they don't finish the race. Like, sometimes they'll crash. I honestly, I like that just because it adds some excitement to the race. Not knowing if a car that should make it will fall. It just is what it is. Um, also, if you are racing the cars by yourself, you do have to make sure that the boosters, you hit them at the same time. Now, if you are racing the cars against a friend or someone in your family, and you go three, two one go and they go first before you do that i think is kind of fun um but if you're more of an adult die caster and you're looking for just a track to race by yourself or to race with um just by yourself basically you may not like that but i'm just letting you know so what we are going to do is a best of race. Meaning if Mario wins, that's a point for the Mario Party. The Tesla wins, that is a point for the real life. Life party. Now we, and whoever has the most wins at the end, wins the battle. But we are joined by the Lamborghini. Yoshi. The mini. Gotta have the mini. We got Wario looking over here at the loops. We got Koopa Troopa. The Bentley. The Bugatti. The McLaren. Speedtail. Waluigi. The Porsche. Bowser. Shy Guy. The Jessica. Toad. And Widow Baby Mario. Who will win in three, two, one? Let's kick it. Sai gotcha, go. They both got derailed. That is a re race. Now, it is a possibility with the cars that they do get derailed or that they don't make it. It is kind of a bummer. Um, mainly because they can get air going around the loops. It's something to know. But now that we've explained that, three, two, one, let's go! Oh, the Tesla falls and Mario takes it for the Mario Party. Tesla gotta watch. He's gotta be a fan now. Let's let the team down. Mario taking the first win. Next up, we have the Princess Peach. As she will go up against the 2015 Project F-Type Jag. If it'll stay. In three, two, one. Oh. That, I hit the Jag first. That was unfair. Next up, we have Princess Peach. Versus the 2015 Jag F-Type Project 7. Who's going to win in 3, 2, 1. Let's hit it. It is Princess Peach taking it. Tesla now got the Jag. Next up. It is... My Butterfingers again. This is why I didn't make a wide receiver roll in the NFL. 
That's what I'm blaming it on. Not the fact that I'm slow. Oh, and can't run fast. In three, two, one. Let's kick it. It is the Corvette Donkey Kong. Let's the Mario Party down. Except we have the Aston Martin 177 going up against Yoshi in three, two, flag, flag, one, go. It is Yoshi. Ooh, the Mario Kart cars. Taking a big advantage. A 3-2-1 advantage. And it is over. It's over. But we will let everyone take their turn. In 3, 2, 1. Let's go! Luigi and the Escort Rally crash and burn. So they will get a re-race in a race that means nothing. In three, two, one. Go! It is Luigi, but the flag kicked the wrong way. But we all seen that the Escort did not make it. This has been a really good little race. The Mario Kart cars won, even if Donkey Kong over there. Yeah, that's right, you donkey. Donkey Kong. Let the team down, but you know what? The Mario Kart cars won. I had fun. My final review of the track. Um, I think it is great. A great track for kids. Um, definitely if definitely can just race by themselves like I did. Um, race with mom, dad, a friend. But can race with anyone and have fun. I wouldn't say that this is a starter track. Just because you do have to be cognizant of what cars you get. And also willing to say like, hey, some cars aren't going to be able to race. So as long as this isn't like a first track, you'll be fine. Um, and if it's not your first track, it is a good track to pick up. Uh, for adult diecasters, if you're just looking for a double loop race, this is really good. I would say get rid of the boosters and have a fair start if just to make sure everything's fair. Um, if you choose to do so, if not, and pretty easy to for me to just start at the same time. But yeah. Have fun. Hopefully you like the review. And if you pick up the track. Have fun. If you don't. Stay tuned for more track reviews. I just want to. Let everyone know. What I like about the track. What I don't like about the track. And what could be. A perk for you. And what may not be a perk. So. See ya. Peace.